Alright, so let's try to make a trap. Now you can see that you start with a totally blank slate. So, let's get to work on that. Let's, let's fix that. Alright, so I'm feeling maybe like a mountain or something. We're just starting like a mountain. And you see you basically paint along the ground. So we're going to start on like a mountain. Can I make it higher? Um, I gotta do this within 10 minutes. Alright, so we're gonna... St oh man, that's high. Alright, we can undo. Okay, so now I'm going to make some road and see how horrible this is. Actually, let's make this mountain a little bit more, uh, a little more surface area to be on. And maybe in the canyon we'll make the walls a little thicker. This can be done anytime, but whatever. All right. So let's see what, what's going on. Okay, so now I'm going to lay track and you're going to see what's going to happen. Alright, I guess we're in a good position. Uh, let's try to lay some track now. And you see what happens is you end up uh, driving this thing. And this thing kind of follows the Would you like to auto-populate your track? I actually didn't try this feature. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Ain't that a handsome devil. I'll just skip ahead. Okay, this is the auto-populate in action. I hadn't actually intended on using auto-populate, but it seems like a pretty cool feature. Just check that out. Wow. That is damn cool. Alright. And you see it automatically put trees, buildings, and made the track actually look pretty cool. Street lights everywhere. I didn't know that. Alright. Put grass in some places apparently. Alright, let's see what we came up with. Let's go to test drive. I started wherever the camera was, so let's, let's see what's going on. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh, to put little boosts also. Clap, phew. That, that auto populate seems like a pretty cool feature. Oh, that doesn't help my driving much. Alright, let's see. Oh, on cobblestone now. Ah, shit. I was looking at the camera more than my driving. Alright. Alright, maybe I'll go in and put little, uh, those arrow sign things. That will make this more complete. Tons of, uh, items. I guess they're weapons. But you can't use them in test drive mode. Alright. 
it's a lap. So I'm not... Uh, first of all, we can also change the lighting. So we can change the rotation of the sun in the sky, and we can also change its elevation in the sky. So we can make it sunset, we can make it more like noon. I want something neutral blue, Alex said. It might take a second for all the, the shadows to update. You can also change the cloud. You can make it more cloudy, which makes it a little more neutral lighting. Change the water level. Let's look at the terrain a little bit more. Like I said, you can put grass anywhere, so let me just demonstrate that. Advanced uh, Sculpt has some options like a very flat brush, you know, pure level surfaces, very useful things. Surface, for example, I can turn this into dirt, if I'd like. If I was so inclined, I could turn it into mud or sand, you know, maybe a lighter. We have run out of brush budget. Oh, apparently there's a brush budget. So apparently this auto-populate thing actually fills out your entire budget. I don't know, does it? Can I put little chevrons here? Let's see. Place anywhere. And you can intersect objects, which is pretty cool. Alright. I'm gonna go to the chevron thing. Which is the little arrow signs. Alright. You can rotate it, scale it, let's just see, oh, I can still stick a few of them in there. Alright. That should give the player enough cue that he might have to turn here, or face dire consequences. And this track is pretty forgiving. This, actually, we might need some of these, because that's a pretty big turn right here. Stick a few of those guys right here to say turn. You know, don't make a break for the lead. Slow down. Turn. All right. Uh, maybe we'll just add a little bit more here. This doesn't look as barren. A little trees here. All right. That looks a little more lively. Maybe a windmill. Now that looks a lot more lively. Now let's put some chickens on the road. Giant chickens. Doom. Ha ha ha. Okay, let's see what happens if we hit test race. Starting line, where we separate the real races from the losers. This is the place where the true winners are fair play and good sportsmanship. That's all right, so I guess these are all bots. Uh, because I'm not connected online yet. Two, two, one, go. All right. All right. Now we're actually racing. I have something in my pocket. Oh my. Alright. I'm in the lead. I'm pretty sure the racer that hit you went that away. I just got kicked off the track. If you press select, uh, you blow yourself up and go back on the track. Alright, I think I have a bomb in my inventory now. So I gotta catch up. I'm all, oh, I'm way behind. 
got to really play catch up. But you see, it only takes not even 10 minutes to make something. Uh, I think I, dro I dropped the bomb. X is apparently the hop and drift. Alright, oh, that looks useful. I think I just shot something, I'm not sure how to check out. Ran into the wall. Uh, apparently they automatically toned. Alright, that's enough. 